Hi, I'm Brandon Gracie. I'm a high school math teacher. Let's say you've got a, a large tower here. It's 50 meters tall, and uh, my blue lines on my page here, the, the ones built into the page, are the horizon line. And uh, the tower is actually built on a hill along this slope right here. And these are wires right here that are attached to the top of the tower, 50 meters up into the air, that are helping to stabilize it. I can measure from the base of the tower out 30 meters and see that that is uh, the length uh, or the distance from the base of the tower up the slope where this guy wire here is attached and similarly down the slope is 25 meters so that's that distance right there and uh, so the question is how long are these wires if I have to bring a, a spool of wire to, to uh, attach to this tower as a guy wire how much wire am I going to need how long is each one uh, so to solve this we're going to use the cosine law and there's actually a bunch of ways to solve this uh, to solve this question if you know some things about it, but we're going to use cosine law today. So I'm going to just label this A, B, C, and I'm also going to put a D down here. And the first thing to notice is uh, I've got this angle 85 degrees I was able to measure at the base of the tower, uh, which tells me sort of the slope of this hill, which is about 5 degrees above the, uh, the horizon line. It's a 5 degree slope, which is actually a pretty significant slope. The other side of this here I know must also uh, must be 95 degrees because these two have to add up to 180 degrees. So I know quite a bit about these two triangles now. I have a triangle here, B, C, D, which has two sides, 50 and 30, and an unknown side. And uh, I know the angle over here. So I have this side, B, C, that I don't know. On the other side here, I've got 50 meters and 25 meters, and I know the angle between, 95. And again, I'm trying to find the opposite side over here, length uh, A, B. I don't know any of these other angles here, but we're going to use cosine law to solve these uh, and try to find them. So let's uh, let's start with this one, A, B, D over here. I know two sides and I have the angle that is in between them, and I want to try to find this opposite side. So let's call that X, and I know that X squared is equal to the square of the other two sides, 50 squared plus 25 squared minus those two times those two sides, 50 25 times, I'll just write it under here, sorry about the space there, times the cosine of the angle between them, 95 degrees. Okay, so x squared is equal to, and we're going to just multiply this all out. I'm going to do this in one fell swoop on my calculator here. So this is the, uh, the iPhone calculator. Notice I'm not in radian mode. If I was, I'd see that there. Rad is bad, so change it to degrees for right now for this, uh, for this question. And let's do 50 squared plus... 25 squared minus 2 times 50 times 25 times, now cosine of 95, I press 95 cos, and then I hit equals. All right, so I've got 3,342.889 approximately. I'm going to store that value in case I mess up. And so that means that the side x has to be the square root of that number. So x is approximately, let me hit the square root button, 57.82, and that will be in meters. So everything's in meters here. Okay, so let's see, does that make sense here? I've got 50 meters, and this side will be a little bit longer, well, that does make sense because this angle 95 is an obtuse angle. It must be the biggest angle in the triangle. This side should be the largest side, and it's a little bit more than 50. So that seems to make pretty good sense. So that's cosine law to find this side. Now let's find this side here. I'm going to call that side y. And uh, this one, I would think, is not going to be the largest because this is only... Eight, well, it could be the largest, 85 degrees. Let's see. Uh, y squared, then, once again is the square of the other two sides added up, 50 squared plus 30 squared this time, because that length is only 30, is 30, CD, minus 2 times 50 times uh, 30 times the cosine of the angle between them is 85 degrees. Oh, sorry, that's just a little off the page, 85 degrees. And so, you know, 2,500 and 900 and all this stuff here we're going to work out I'll again bring up my calculator and I'm going to do this once again in one fell swoop. 50 squared plus 30 squared 
minus 2 times 50 times 30 times 85 cos, and then press equals, 3138.53. That's approximately, and that's y squared. So that means y must be equal to the square root of that thing, approximately. And to find that then, I just hit the square root button, right there, 56. Well, it is a little bit larger. And that again is in meters, everything's in meters. So that again uh, is across from this angle 85 here, and these two angles must be smaller. Now that's all the information that I was really looking for. There is enough here now, if you want to, you know this value here, 56.02 meters. You've now got a side and the opposite angle. You could find this angle here using sine law, because you know this side over here. Similarly, this angle you can find using sine law, because you know this side over here. And you've got sort of the situation that you want. You can look for angle C, or angle B, or this one here, or this one here. You have enough information now by using the cosine law to find all the other values in the triangle.